Hello all, welcome back to another video. For this video, we will be looking at this recently released tool, Alcatraz. This is a binary of Fascator which means that it will work on compiled binaries. This is convenient as we will not need the source code of the binary that we will be performing the obfuscation on. We can just run it on a compiled binary file and it should be able to obfuscate it. Let's give it a shot to see if this works against the latest Windows Defender. Let's sort out the requirements first. We will need to install VC package. We can do so using git as suggested. Let's install git on our windows to continue. Let's proceed with the git installation by leaving all the defaults as it is. Once git is done, we should be able to execute the git command on our windows command prompt. Awesome. Now let's git clone the VC package git repo and execute the bat file as instructed. Once that is done, we should be able to execute the integrate install command since we will be using Visual Studio to compile the Alcatraz GUI tool. Alright, this should do it. Now let's continue with the requirements by installing the ASM JIT package as well as the ZYDIS package. Let's fire up Visual Studio and give it a shot. We should be able to compile it. Awesome! Compilation was a success. We now have the Alcatraz GUI binary. Let's give it a shot. Let's try it on MSF Venom generated binaries. We can generate a simple payload that will execute Notepad. Let's generate both EXE and DLL payload file types. Since we will be performing the obfuscation on our Windows machine directly, we will need to create a folder that is excluded from Windows Defender first. We can transfer the payload files into the excluded folder, perform the obfuscation using Alcatraz, and then transfer the obfuscated binaries out of the excluded folder to see if Windows Defender is able to pick it up. Okay, this should do it. The exclude folder is now excluded from Windows Defender. We can transfer our MSF Venom generated binaries into the exclude folder. Awesome. We have a working MSF Venom generated payload that will execute Notepad in EXE format. Let's transfer it out of the excluded folder to see if Windows Defender can pick it up. Let's copy it to desktop. Great, Windows Defender is detecting the MSF generated payload file. Now let's use Alcatraz to perform the obfuscation on it to see if it works. Oh damn, the program crashed. Let's try it again. It doesn't work man, it crashed again. Okay, forget it. Let's give it a try on the DLL payload instead. Hmm, 
at least some error is showing up now instead of just crashing. This is pretty funny. Okay, let's try it on Mimikatz instead. It has to work, right? It is definitely one of the most common binaries to perform obfuscation on. Let's copy Mimikatz onto our demo tree folder. Let's transfer Mimikatz into our exclude folder on Windows. Now let's try to perform the obfuscation using Alcatraz again. Hmm, it is failing again. I don't think we need the PDB file but it is showing up as an error. This is weird. Maybe I am doing something wrong. If any one of you was able to use Alcatraz and bypass Windows Defender, please let me know in the comments. Okay, let's give it a try on something else, like Sharphound. Okay, this is not working. I'm pretty sure the Sharphound binary that is released over here supports both 32 and 64 bit. Let's just compile Sharphound ourselves and generate a binary that only supports 64. Damn, Windows Defender is picking it up, of course. Let's copy the Sharphound folder into our exclude folder first so that the Sharphound binary doesn't get deleted by Defender. This is good. We now have the compiled Sharphound binary now. Let's give Alcatraz a final try. Oh my god, the program crashed again. Let's give it one more shot. Okay, it didn't crash now. Let's try to compile it. Maybe let's not use the add all function and just compile it as it is. Okay, a success prompt is showing now. We should be able to see a newly generated binary with the OBF obfuscated in its name. Awesome. Let's try to transfer it out of our exclude folder and into our desktop folder. Damn, this doesn't work man. Windows Defender is able to pick it up. Okay. Our experiment with Alcatraz is a failure, it didn't work. The tool seems to be buggy as well, it didn't work on MSF Venom generated binaries as well as Mimikatz. Maybe I am doing something wrong. If any one of you was able to use it successfully, please let me know in the comments. Alright all, I hope you all have enjoyed the video. Please help to like the video and subscribe to the channel, it will really help out the channel a lot. Thanks all, I appreciate it. I will see you all soon in the next one. Bye.